to me, it is connected to a question which is about are we considering that the resources, the planet resources, uh, is some kind of a good that can be used without any moderation, right? I think it is very much connected to that question. And of course, if we want to want to know to that question, uh, at least we need to make sure that, uh, you know, moving forward, some of those innovation that we push in those societies will be very much, let's say, connecting the dots with two things. First, making sure that we are not using the planet resources excessively. Uh, and of course, if we do so, if we, let's say, you know, need to, let's say, use some of those resources, at least that we, let's say, you know, make sure that it is not going to be, let's say, a use uh, without taking into account the reproductive cycle uh, that is, let's say, you know, natural for those resources to be regenerated. If I make an analogy with what we call, uh, let's say, you know, platform solution uh, in the digital space, right? I think the sustainable innovation do have the characteristic to be not only, uh, let's say, a kind of a multi approach and multi dimensional approach, but it very much has the, the, the opportunities to address a kind of a multi purpose effect in the society at individual level, at societal level, and at environmental level, right? And so this is the the, this multi-purpose effect into play that, let's say, to me, characterizes very much what is uh, sustainable innovation, per se. So the funny thing about AI is that we learn and we heard a lot, a lot, a lot about what AI can do uh, and can bring for society and humanity. And you may have heard that AI can, let's say, you know, put uh, a lot of, let's say, positive approach and effect when it comes to more growth, more automation, more intelligence, and, and those type of things. I think that uh, basically, uh, when it comes to sustainable innovation, none of this point, right, are relevant. I very much think that the role of AI should be, you know, address and help humanity to, let's say, cope with more, but not more growth, more intelligence, more, as let's say, you know, automation and so on and so forth, to cope with more moderation, right? I mean, along the human history, we always have a challenge and we still have that challenge today, is right? To deal with, or let's say, blind addiction to planet resources. And, uh, and I, I call it that blind addiction because it is something that is very, very, very hard to endorse and to manage with moderation, right? Uh, a bit because of, let's say, you know, our different uh, economic systems that sometimes, and more than sometimes, lead us to, let's say, you know, go for more growth, more profit for profit and for growth and so on and so forth and sometimes forgetting about, let's say, the externalities and some of the consequences that might, let's say, harm the environment that we need, actually, right? To, to thrive and to continue to, let's say, grow as human. So I think AI do have a kind of a key role when it comes to helping us, you know, drive and manage even more wisely what I would call a kind of a you know, augmented moderation in the way we use the planet resources all around the world. And so it may, you know, help us through, let's say, solution that will give us the power to manage even more wisely some of those externalities that we generate at individual level. It could be also, of course, helping uh, policy making and uh, let's say, uh, those, let's say, infrastructures that we need to put into play and that we need to build, actually, for societies. So so it can, let's say, inform better the kind of a public services that can, let's say, be beneficial for each and every one of us at societal level, while taking care about any harms that can, let's say, you know, uh, undermine uh, planet resources or the environment that we need to drive. And of course, at the, let's say, environmental level, those AI systems can very much help us, you know, leapfrog in terms of how are we, let's say, managing the limits uh, of those, let's say, resource uh, rights that, uh, that, uh, that are, let's say, planetary important, 
but that are not unlimited, right? And so better managing those resources and better, better managing the way we use it in a kind of a purpose, let's say, you know, purposeful aspect of the way we use it. It is very much something that AI can help us to make and help us to achieve. So again, I think uh, on that aspect, AI do have a role, but I think this is a kind of a role that is, let's say, sometimes, you know, underrated. We, let's say, you know, sometimes hear more about the role that AI can bring forward when it comes to more growth, more automation, more intelligence and so on and so forth. Definitely on that specific aspect, AI do have a very big role to play when it comes to helping us driving and managing more moderation all around the world. I think the people in the C-suite start to understand AI in the right way, actually, right? Not understanding from a kind of a perspective of, let's say, you know, making the race of AI for AI per se, but very much understanding how that technologies can very much augment, in a way, our ability to understand the world and our ability to very much be sustainable in the way we approach the world. I think this is quite something, let's say, you know, reading and let's say, uh, a part of let's say the kind of an education that is starting to come that is starting to let's say being uh, being observed we still have some room to let's say you know some room for improvements to make and we still have let's say some journey also a, a, as well to embrace to very much be at the at a kind of a good position of intelligence actually to better understand the different let's say externalities that us as human beings uh, we are generating uh, and that are very much flying right back to us and to our human condition. So corporations do have a role to play, definitely. And I know that, you know, uh, many of them and many, let's say, you know, corporations do have a kind of a sustainability agenda. So I think it is a kind of an advantage, an enabler, actually, uh, to leverage AI and to better, let's say, you know, emphasize where do we need to, let's say, see beyond the unseen and better manage those externalities and those impacts that we are generating around the world uh, to make sure that, you know, we create something that is very much sustainable and not just for, let's say, you know, having the headlines and being sustainable without very much driving the kind of a sustainable agenda that is kind of, a, you know, impacting positively the societies. I'm very much optimistic on that point. I think uh, first we've seen, you know, uh, the new generations coming up in many companies and all around the world in many activities. And uh, it is fair to say that that generation is very much aware, very much let's say, concerned, more educated also as well when it comes to sustainability and when it comes to, let's say, you know, making sure that we are, let's say, managing our waste, uh, making sure that we are, let's say, you know, uh, addressing those different planet resources the more wise way uh, possible. So I, I think this, let's say, is a kind of a good signal uh, to acknowledge and on which we can be optimistic. And let's say, you know, in addition to that, uh, seeing, let's say, the, the, the let's say, overall uh, the commitment uh, that we can see from corporate level, uh, from, let's say, institutional level also as well, some government also as well, I mean, we, I think that the awareness related to the aspect of the sustainability and the importance that it has for, let's say, our humanity to continue to strive and continue to grow and continue to develop ourselves is a good sign and is very a kind of an optimistic, let's say, you know, signal. Still, we need to, let's say, you know, make sure that we are not naive on that because being sustainable and pushing sustainable innovation uh, goes hand in hand with a kind of ability to think again ourselves, to be able to very much think about our future self, right? So this is not an easy task. This is not something that comes naturally, right? So it needs for us always to be challenged about what we do, what we push forward in society, especially when it comes to technologies, because we know technology is very much a kind of a big consumer when it comes to water and energy, etc. So we need to very much think against ourselves to figuring out how we push, you know, that sustainable agenda, because this is not something that comes exclusively naturally based on our different behaviors. 
and most of, most of the time it's very much required to think about I mean, to think again ourselves again, right? To making sure that we really think about our future self. Basically, we are very much, you know, in a kind of a, a moment, right? Uh, a big moment, actually, where we have a lot of investments going on in new technologies. We have a lot of, uh, let's say, and technologies, you know, for different sectors and different activities that are vital for, let's say, societies to thrive. I'm thinking about energy. I'm thinking about, you know, those type of, let's say, you know, advancement that I make when it comes to coping with climate change. I'm thinking also about, you know, anything that, let's say, comes into the the reflection around uh, what does it mean to, let's say, drive human development, transform it, trans transportation, aerospace, space, and other, let's say, sectors. I think that we need to, let's say, figuring out all those different domains and all those different sectors, not by silo, right? Not looking at those points in a kind of a silo effect or silo approach, but very much about having a kind of a holistic view, uh, a multidisciplinary view in terms of how do we drive those new solutions, those kind of a new sustainable innovation platform solution in a way in societies to very much be able to cope with each and every, let's say, possible externalities. Because sometimes when you look at the silo of what you're doing, you might think that you are driving some positive effects, but the butterfly effect is very much beyond the silo. And this is where comes those blind spots on which we can, let's say, generate arms to society. So, multidisciplinary, multidisciplinary, let's say, you know, thinking approach and embracing very much not only diversity, but inclusivity in that aspect is key. And looking at all those different sectors that we have been used to separate from one to another. And uh, let's say, you know, making sure that we see that as a kind of a system to very much have a kind of a systemic impact, positive, hopefully, will be very much at stake beyond any kind of a technology we are using, AI, quantum, and so on and so forth.